Hello and welcome back to Down the Track. In this episode, we'll be reviewing day one at Lords between India and England. And it started off with Jorud having a Nasser Hussain kind of moment. Uh, I mean, fair play to him in the sense that it was overcast conditions. Looked like England could have picked up a few wickets with, uh, with you know, with the overhead conditions and the ball swinging, but it wasn't to be. India batted magnificently and a dominant day for them and for KL Rahul. At Stumps, the score is 276 for three, but it wasn't as easy as it looked. I felt that in the first session in particular, um, Roy Sharma and KL Rahul showed their defensive side of things and their technique was fantastic uh, on this occasion. They, they left the ball brilliantly. They defended when needed to. They didn't go for those false strokes outside off stump. Uh, and leaving the ball was very, very important in that first session. And that's exactly what it, what they did. And credit to both of them. You know, Roy Sharma, we know he's such a talented player, but he showed a different side to him today. And we should appreciate that. I think um, he's shown that he has what it takes on this level. It's just, uh, you know, a matter of concentration. He has that defensive technique as well. It's not only about shots. Uh, unlucky not to get 100, whereas Kale Rahul, I think, uh, absolutely superb because... You know, uh, Rohit Sharma was doing 80% uh, of the run scoring. After he got out, that's when KL Rahul started playing his shots. But before that, it was all defense, all leave, leaving the ball, make sure not he doesn't get out and putting a price on his wicket. And the way he converted that into 100 was uh, outstanding, I felt. Brilliant uh, innings from KL Rahul. He's on the Lord's uh, honor board now. His name will be there, uh, Centurion, there at, at such a historic ground, the home of cricket. So fantastic. And like I said, like, you know, he played his shots later on and that shot, especially through point uh, and like off the front foot and the back foot, he plays it wonderfully well. He got to his 100 like that as well. And just to think a few weeks back that he was the number third or fourth choice opener. He was as a, he was there as a backup middle order batsman, but now he's dominating proceedings in England. A 50 in the first inning, uh, in the first test match, and now 100 here at Lords. Uh, you know, just superb, uh, brilliant mental strength, and he has that talent. He started off as a test cricketer, you know, with the IPL and stuff. I think he changed his game a bit, but now um, he's shown that you know quality will always be there. It's just about now taking that to the next level, being consistent, and yeah, I think it was fantastic uh, for me. Um, uh, like you know, apart from that, I think for India, the only issue would have been uh, Pujara getting out early. I think he got out uh, very quickly, and uh, Virat Kohli after getting set on 40, we were expecting a big 100 from him. You know, it's been a long, long time, and he would be uh, really sad the way he got out with the new ball. The ball was going to swing, and he just got a good delivery. But that's something that Virat Kohli will look into. He wasn't at his fluent best, um, uh, but he, you know, he grinded it out, and that's why he'd be a bit more upset because once you get out of a tough situation, it's about building it and he's very good at that. So, uh, something that he will uh, ponder upon, but if uh, as a captain, be very happy with proceedings. I think India have dominated the day and it wasn't as easy as it looked that, like I mentioned. Um, England, on the other hand, I think uh, they were uh, not as good with the ball, not as accurate. I think a lot actually has to go, you have to give credit to the Indian batsmen for being so patient, but at the same time, I felt they could have tried a bit more. Anderson, though, was fantastic. You know, again, the, the ball to Rohit Sharma is set on 83, approaching 100, and to get that ball to jack back in, brilliant. And you see the difference between Anderson in the first test and second test. First test is all about the away swingers, but now he was getting the ball to shape in, and that's why he's such a fantastic bowler. He was according to the conditions, according to the pitch as well. So, well, um, yeah, that was brilliant from Anderson. Ollie Robinson, I felt, you know, in patches, he was really good as well. Uh, he bowled pretty well. He got the wicket of Kohli, which is which is big. And um, But again, you know, Sam Curran has been an issue for England. He's not being able to create as much. Mark would be very disappointed. Yeah, he has the pace. He has the pace to trouble the batsman. He just couldn't find his length in line today. And uh, his economy of 4.12, the most expensive out of the bowlers. He'd be very disappointed. They want a bigger showing from him. Moin Ali, again, it's day one. Not much purchase for spinners. Uh, they were a bit cautious against him, but then they did play their stroke. So, you know, uh, as uh, we don't know how the pitch will uh, play as the uh, as the match progresses, but there might be some turn. So I won't judge too much right now on the spinners, but Sam Kern in particular, I felt uh, him and Mark would uh, could have uh, had a better performance. And yeah, right now it looks uh, it looks like uh, India are ahead. They're ahead. I think they will be looking at a score around four hundred. 450, that would be a brilliant score. The commentator is speaking that, you know, the Lord's pitch doesn't deteriorate as much, but, you know, with a lot of cricket going on there with the 100 and uh, now the sun beating down as well. It was overcast, but in the last session, we saw the sun beating down. Weather seems clear for the next few days, so there might be a few cracks that open. Only time will tell. That's why India can't take it lightly, you know, if they get all out for 350, England are back in the game. So they'll have to stretch that score as much as possible. Yeah, that means Rahane has to take responsibility along with Rahul and then uh, Rishabh Pant and Jadeja need to contribute 
the lower order india still looks a bit thin here uh, even though they prefer, they wagged in the last game but no ashwin uh, ishan sharma will be coming in so it's a long tail for india so they will want to make the most of it uh, especially with uh, you know with two set batsmen right now at the crease uh, rahane looked a bit jittery him and pujara just not look the same right now hopefully he can get some runs under his belt and then if you just look at pujara he's uh, the way the bat is coming in it's a bit more across to the leg side and you know the edge is uh, it's coming off he's not bringing it straight like, like he did a couple of years back so i think it's a minor adjustment that he needs to make and then it's a mental thing as well because i feel that he's made that adjustment because he wants to play less dot balls because of that pressure after the world test championship but it's just not working for him right now so maybe he goes back because i've said that like you know in england one ball will get you so you can be so defensive but kl rahul showed today that there are ways to be defensive but then attack so maybe pujara can try to find that uh, from from that side of things but yeah overall i think a great uh, day for india again on the toss i won't be too critical of root even though um, you know it looks like such a poor decision but it there were overcast conditions you know they could have got early wickets if they bowled a bit better easily couple of wickets because the ball was moving around it just didn't happen for them and you know uh, that's that's what happens in captains you make one call sometimes it goes your way it doesn't in hindsight it looks like a poor decision but at that time uh, i didn't feel it was the most wrong decision even though uh, i've said before the game as well that uh, whoever should win the toss should bat first but you know with england you have to look at the overhead conditions but, so that, that that's about it from that side of things uh, it's going to be a fascinating day too india had can england come back only time will tell for me the player of the day was kl rahul for sure uh, tomorrow the player to watch out for um, again rahul but i would look at rishabh pant um, how will he play he uh, who, he won't have as much pressure now so can he capitalize and stretch this lead as far as possible and from england side of things is jimmy anderson uh, all rests on him he just looks at a, a class apart when it comes to the bowling so can he pick up early wickets and bring england back into the game the ball is still fairly new and uh, let's see how conditions are tomorrow but uh, apart from that thank you so much for joining me make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and uh, comment with uh, your thoughts on uh, day 1 thank you so much